back at it again, and can you believe it, for the very last culinary hotline bling, tsing, 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 of 2016 with Zola Nene. It's quite sad, it's quite it sad is. that we are at this point, but we've yeah. had a lot of fun engaging with you. And let's do so one more time. We've got a caller yes. right now. I believe, is it Marvin from Nelspreit? Malcolm. Yes, how are you? How are you oh, very, very good, Malcolm. How's Nelspreit? Yes. Nelspreit, uh, as usual, the weather is 100%. Yeah, lucky. Like <laughs> like eh? Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what is your question there, Ma uh, Malcolm? Uh, firstly, I want to just ask Zola, in Tabla and Abachele, when I go to him, let me pay you, okay? Yeah! Malcolm! Come on, who is it, Malcolm? Yeah, I'm going to ask you, Tina. What have you done? Hey, but I'm not, man. No, I'm not. No, so, Chacheco, what I wanted to know was, if we bring a leg of lamb for Christmas, hey, do we have, can we marinate it before? Or must we just pass it and baste it in between, you know what I'm saying? Great question, Malcolm. So, leg of lamb for Christmas mm. that Malcolm's making, marinate it or baste it while roasting it? Uh, marinating your leg of lamb is going to pump up the flavour in a major way. So, I would definitely advise it. So, put your garlic and your herbs and whatever else that you're going to... Don't season it yet, though, if okay. you're going to marinate it overnight. So, everything else besides the salt, um, rub it all over your lamb, leave it overnight in the fridge, and then okay. it'll, you know, sort of penetrate the lamb even better when you cook it the next day. And then also baste it. So before you put it in the okay. oven, though, if you've marinated it, make sure you season it because you obviously haven't seasoned it. There we go. And then, yeah, okay. roast it as you would. Keep basting it, and it'll be delicious. Oh, thank you very much for the call. Oh, number one when it's all away. Our very last caller for the year. Can oh. you believe it for the hot culinary hotline bling? And, uh, yeah, great advice there from Zola. One more time. Let's quickly go with this one uh, from Carol, who said, which basmati rice to buy that separates? Okay, so all basmati rice should separate. It's okay. just the way that you cook it. Yes. Um, you're obviously using too much water, and therefore it's becoming clumpy. Um, so you, you get brown basmati, and you get white basmati. Basmati is a long grain rice. Yes. So it's meant to be sort of separate grains. Um, so what I advise is not to measure the water. So put the basmati in a pot, put the, cover it with water, boil it, taste it for when it's done, drain it, put it in a colander, put the colander over a pot, cover it in a cloth, leave it to steam, separate grains. There we go. <laughs> and the river de Barreur. Can you believe it? Uh, Zola Nene, with the expert advice, as always, thank you so much. Thank Sassan. you. Oh. You've been amazing this year, as you have been every other year. Oh. Oh, and yeah. we hope it was on total pay, man. Oh, yes. Thank well, no, you. I'm, a, I'm a requirements. Do you have... Ish. No. <laughs> Yo, 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 the quest continues with Tolupe for Zola. If you're that capable guy, you know, you can handle it. Is this a dating site? What you is know. this? Hey, uh, 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 suitor number no. three, what's your name? What's your, what's your favorite idea for a fun night? <laughs>